One of the major results in category theory is the monadicity theorem. If we have an adjoint situation Fg and the induced monad T, we want to know when the comparison functor K is an equivalence. And by definition, this is the same as asking the question, when is G monadic? We recall that a full and faithful functor is conservative, and we prove the following lemma. An adjoint situation Mn is an equivalence if and only if n is conservative and the unit eta is an isomorphism. To prove the forward direction by the definition of an equivalence, we have eta is an isomorphism. Then since epsilon is also an isomorphism by the definition of an equivalence, n is full and faithful. And this result is covered in the playlist on adjoint situations. And therefore, since n is full and faithful, it is also conservative. Conversely, by the triangle identity for adjoint situations, we have n epsilon eta n is equal to the identity on n. Then since eta is an isomorphism, n epsilon is an isomorphism as well. Therefore, epsilon is an isomorphism since n is conservative. We will now state and prove the monadicity theorem. A functor g is monadic if and only if 1, g is a joint, 2, g is conservative, 3, the category A has co-equalizers of g-split pairs, and 4, g preserves co-equalizers of g-split pairs. To prove the forward direction, for 1, g is a joint by definition of monadicity, for 2, if gf, which is equal to utkf, is an isomorphism, then since ut is conservative, kf is an isomorphism. But since k is an equivalence, it is also conservative, and thus f must be an isomorphism as well. For 3, since k is an equivalence, and the eilenberg moore category has co-equalizers of ut split pairs, the category A has co-equalizers of utk split pairs. But utk is just equal to g, and that completes 3. For 4, g preserves co-equalizers of g split pairs, since ut does, and g is equal to utk with k in equivalence. And this completes the proof for the forward direction. To prove the converse, we use 3 and the results from the last video, noting that epsilon f, f theta, is a g-split pair for each x theta in the eilenberg moore category. And this gives us a functor L from the eilenberg moore category to A, such that LK is in a joint situation where the unit is defined by the universal mapping property of x theta as the co-equalizer of mu x and t theta in the eilenberg moore category and Q is the co-equalizer of epsilon fx f theta in the category A. We then apply the forgetful functor to the bottom row, giving us the following diagram in the category E. Since utk is equal to g, and g preserves co-equalizers of g-split pairs by condition 4, gq is the co-equalizer of g epsilon fx g f theta, which is, by the definition of the monad t, mu x t theta. But we have shown that the forgetful functor ut creates co-equalizers of ut split pairs. Therefore, kq is the co-equalizer of mu x t theta in the eilenberg moore category. Then since kl x theta and x theta share the same universal mapping property, it follows that the unit eta bar is an isomorphism. So in order to prove that k is an equivalence, by the lemma above, it is enough to show k is conservative. We have kf is an isomorphism if and only if utkf is an isomorphism since ut is conservative. And utkf is an isomorphism if and only if f is an isomorphism since g is equal to utk and is by assumption conservative by condition 2 above. Therefore k is an equivalence and thus g is monadic, which completes the proof.